What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today is part two of my coin collection. This is page number two. Uh, I got these like uh, folder things and I put them in like a binder. So here we go, page two. I'm not really organized, I just stick them wherever there's uh, a spot. So first off, we have an 1883 Liberty Head V nickel without cents. Then we have 1913 Type 1 Buffalo Nickel. 1927 Buffalo Nickel. 1936 Buffalo Nickel. Then we got a 1968S Proof Quarter. We got 1942 Quarter. Washing Quarters. Uh, 1943. 1944. Then we have an 1899 Barber Half Dollar. Then we have an 1918 and 1918S Walking Liberty Half Dollars. Then we have a 1935D. And then a 1942. 1944. And then a 1951 Benjamin Franklin Half Dollar. Then we have this nice, brilliant, uncirculated 1945 Washington Quarter. Then we have one of my favorite kind of coins, 1928S Standing Liberty Quarter. Then we have first year Jefferson Nickel, 1932. Then we have a 1936 to finish off the page. All right, guys, I'm going to grab a couple of these coins and we're going to throw in the macros lens. All right, guys, got the macros lens on. We're going to take a look at a couple of these coins here. First off, we have the 1932 first year Washington Quarter. This thing's pretty nice. Uh, then God We Trust is almost gone, but what can you do? Overall, pretty nice coin. Let's flip it over. And right there underneath the reef, there would be a... Uh, there would be the mint mark. If it had a mint mark, it would be uh, either a D or an S, and it would be both of those would be a key date in the series. Overall, pretty nice coin. I like it. Next, we have the 1913 Type 1 Buffalo Nickel. This coin is really nice. I like it. Let's flip it over. It's type 1 because the buffalo is standing on the mound. Type 2 would be him standing on a just like a flat line. There's no mint mark there. Alright. Pretty nice coin there. Next we have 1883 Liberty Head V Nickel. First year for the V Nickels. Everything is visible in Liberty except the eye and the headband. Pretty nice. It's got kind of like a scratch there or something. But this is with the no sense, without the sense. Sense would be right there where E plus Unum is. Pretty nice coin. Not bad condition at all. Alright, next coin. We have two coins left here. We have an 1899 Barber Half Dollar. This thing isn't in the greatest condition, but it's not in the worst. Let's flip it. The mint mark would be right there underneath the eagle's tail feathers. Pretty nice. A little worn out there, though. I like it. Not that it's worn out, but I like the coin itself. Right here. And lastly, we have the 1935D Standing Liberty, Walking Liberty, half dollar. Not too bad. Alright, let's flip it. And right 
right there is the demint mark. This is a unique coin in the reverse or the back of a coin because like the eagle's perched, not like flying. It's kind of unique. Alright guys, let me take off the macros lens and we'll do a quick wrap up. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed it. Give me a like, subscribe, and share. Post a comment down below and I'll see you next time.